Hi everybody. So welcome to our third section or third session of uh, DMA data manipulation and analysis part three. In this particular lecture, we will understand about alignment, indent, number format. Then we'll talk about percent style, comma style, increase and decrease decimals. And finally, we will understand how to insert pictures and shapes. So let us start our journey of part three. Uh, as you know, like here, we are aligning elements and alignment can be done in two ways. One is alignment in center, alignment left and alignment right. So we can align the text or a number in particular cell in three ways. One is either in center or right or alignment in le left side. These are three ways. Another way of alignment is top align, bottom align and center align or middle align. Okay. So we'll go through uh, them one by one uh, practically as well. Here if you look at this like uh, the titles, roll number, name, age, etc. They are centrally aligned. Okay. Then you have roll numbers here. These numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. These are numbers and they are right aligned. And uh, again, if you look at the names, by default, alphanumeric values are left aligned. Okay. So this is possible with uh, alignment. You have alignment tab here. Using alignment tab, you can use left align, center align, and right align. Okay. Similarly, as I told you, you can align the text either at top or in middle or bottom alignment. So top align, center align and bottom align. This is also possible and you can align your values or titles or any numbers available in the cell in three ways and that will be top align, center align and bottom align. Here in alignment section, okay, if you click, uh, click on home tab, you have alignment option and in alignment option you have three ways to align your text. All right. Now, next part is increase and decrease the margin between border and text. This is very much possible. Okay, so that is what the indention is. So basically indention is increasing or decreasing margins between the border and the text. So here, if you look at this, okay, this is a cell border, you have cell border and inside that we have written name of person and there is a gap between the left border and the text you have written. This is possible with the indention. You can increase or decrease the indention. Uh, there are two options available, increase indention and decrease indention. These two options are available in alignment section itself. So you can indent the text using a particular choice, either increasing or decreasing the indention. Now, next part after indention is comma style. If you want to display some numbers, okay, the numbers can have or can be represented using a comma style, all right. So what do you mean by comma style? So you have options here in number option and first is uh, comma style, second is you can uh, provide some numeric values with the currency, then percentage uh, in case in uh, uh, like you can display your value with a percentage sign as well. So you have these options available, right? As well as you have option to provide the decimal values, okay? So you can uh, have a value with uh, uh, zero, zero after decimal. So if you want to display any value uh, with uh, decimal, you can do that as well, okay? So first one is a dollar sign. Using dollar sign, you can uh, display the currency value. Look at this particular example. In this particular example, this is a simple data that we have, the original data. 
then using the currency style okay you just need to select them and uh, then click on dollar sign so it will display the into currency style default currency available is dollar but you can change that as well second choice is percentage if you select this number and click on percentage uh, sign it will display the value as a percentage because in many calculations you require the value and you want to show them as a percentage then you have comma style using a comma style it uh, display in american format that is actually in million format basically so uh, normally what we do is suppose you want to display 10000 we write 10 comma 000 right or say 1 lakh so it will be 1 comma 00 comma 000 this is how we display but here it is a uh, display in bunch of three numbers right so this is how it will display like here it is uh, showing one one lakh ninety two thousand zero zero one in this format it shows as one ninety two comma zero 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 one point zero zero so that is a comma style you can display comma style as well okay and uh, this comma style option is available uh, here into a uh, number tab okay into a number tab it is available number option it is available you can decrease and increase uh, the decimal value okay so this is possible using uh, increasing and decreasing the values okay then you have number format options available so number number format options allow you to display numbers okay using uh, various formats that you have so you just need to select the cell which you want and then you can convert them into particular number format you have various options available here general option number option currency option accounting option you want to display it into short date long date time percentage fractions etc so these are various options that you can try during your practical hours and uh, this facility is available as well all right now let us check and execute all these options uh, uh, practically so here is our worksheet available and uh, uh, here let us check one example and we work on alignment first of all suppose we have name age and uh, uh, say city right and a name is say ramesh uh, we have mahesh and naresh okay uh, these are three names we have some ages shown here and ct here so that is valsar surat and uh, say uh, ahmedabad right so we have this data available all right now as you can see here the numbers uh, sorry the names ramesh mahesh naresh these are actually alphabets okay and alphabets are by default left aligned okay you can check it over here whereas 22 23 32 are numbers and by default they are right aligned you can always pro, uh, give appropriate alignment so for that purpose what you'll do is you just select them okay select suppose these are our titles and we want to keep title into center line select them then go to home tab and then you have alignment options here so it is left align center line and right align just click on center line and your text uh, the titles are centrally aligned similarly age also we want to keep uh, into center so just select them click on center align so now age is also centrally aligned now let us increase the height of the cell of uh, first row so if you increase the size you can see that name age and ct these three options are by default bottom align okay so here they are bottom aligned and if you want you can uh, make them uh, center align or middle align you can call it so select them and select this option that is middle, middle align uh, click on middle align they are available here suppose age we want as a bottom align so select only that particular cell click on this you'll have bottom align ct we want top align so select it and click on top align so you'll have top align all right similarly you have indention here decrease and increase indention is possible with this so how you do that 
So say Ramesh, okay. And uh, Ramesh is displayed over here. We want that, like initially, we want to give some uh, spaces, okay. And that is possible with the alignment, uh, sorry, with the indent. So if you click on indent, okay, it will increase or decrease the margin between the border and the text in the cell. So if you click on that indention, okay, here we are increasing the indent. So if you click on that, okay, it will generate a particular indention value. Or if you click again, it will again indent it, okay. And if you want to reduce the indention, you can just click on that again left side and it will reduce the indention. This is how you can indent it, all right? Now, here, we have options of uh, number formats, various number formats. So number formats options are available and that will understand how to work with that. Say, for example, we have some values here, all right? Say it is one, two, three, four, then 12, four, five, six, seven then some values are, we are just taking some random values and we check that how to use them, all right. So we, these are a few values that we have, okay. And we make them uh, say right align, all right. So these are our original numbers, okay. And we want to uh, just show them or format them so that we can have these numbers uh, into a specific format. First of all, we display them into currency format, okay? So we'll just click, uh, copy all these numbers into uh, another column here and we paste it. So we have these numbers here, okay? We want to convert them into currency format, just select them and click on accounting number format. That's the currency format. So this will uh, basically, uh, display or it will prefix dollar sign with these numbers and you have your numbers or values with prefix dollar sign okay just look at this all right now similarly let us uh, work on uh, or we want to display these numbers in percentage uh, style all right so what you'll do is similarly is just select them and you have this option that is a percentage okay click on percentage and you can display that. Okay, here by default it is dollar, but if you want to change into particular accounting format, you can change it from here. Like you have uh, pound, then you have euro sign, then Chinese uh, uh, yen is there. Okay, then Switzerland uh, francs are available. Okay, and more accounting formats are available. There are a number of formatting uh, styles available. You can select any of them, all right. Uh, this is just for your knowledge. All right. Now, similarly, if you want to display the number in two comma style, you can do that as well. Okay. So, how to do that? Right. Si simply select the numbers and click on comma style. Basically, it will change the format of the cell to accounting without a currency symbol. So, it will not have a currency symbol except without currency symbol. It will display it into currency format. Okay, so this is how you can use the comma style, all right. Similarly, you can increase or decrease the decimals. So uh, by here, clicking here, you can decrease the decimal. For example, here it is. If you want to uh, decrease the precision, here right now precision value is after decimal, there are two zeros. If you want to increase, just click here. Okay, this will decrease. If you want to increase that, you just left click on that and you have this particular number with a precision of four zeros. So this is how you can increase or decrease your precisions. Is that clear? Right? Now let us go ahead uh, and uh, we just cover a next concept. And next concept is uh, actually how to insert a picture. So you can insert a picture into your Excel spreadsheet or any spreadsheet that you are using. Okay, so you can insert it uh, using the picture option available under the insert tab. Okay, so just select insert tab, select picture, uh, select the picture which you want to insert and click OK. So we will understand this with uh, yeah, one uh, example. Okay, practically we will understand. So just select this. Uh, okay, 
and here is your worksheet. Okay, let's go here. Find and let us insert some picture. Why you require picture? Because in many cases, certain work worksheets you require or you want to display, you need to display some pictures or you need to display some uh, photos or it is required, right? Many cases or you want to insert some graphs or some shapes, etc. That you can do, all right? So what you'll do is just click on insert, okay? And insert tab, you have this option that is a picture option. So just click on the picture option, okay? And uh, then you just select the folder where your picture is available, all right? So go to that particular folder, like here I have one uh, folder and it contains some pictures, so one picture is there. I'll just select it, okay, and click on insert. Now look at these, like picture size is too large, so I want to reduce that, so I can just select that particular picture and we'll reduce the size, okay? So this is how you can uh, increase or decrease the size of the picture and you can keep it over here, right? Similarly, you can in, in, insert certain shapes also. Apart from picture, you have shapes option, you have clip art option. So clip arts are basically uh, some uh, like various uh, clips available with you that include drawing, movies, sound, or stock photography, etc. So using that clip art option, you can insert any such object, any such uh, media clips or audio clips, etc. into your worksheet. Similarly, you have option called shapes. So shapes are used to, uh, you know, insert certain predefined or ready-made available shapes like rectangles, circles, arrows, lines, flowcharts. Uh, okay, and you can generate flowcharts. You can generate some, uh, you know, flow of work etc using the shape so you just select on shapes and you have various shapes available you can simply uh, select any one of them select it okay then you once you select the shape you have various formatting options available you can give a color you can give various effects to that okay you can add text by uh, you know simply right click on that and edit text and you can write uh, here okay so like Let's start the flow chart and you can simply write, right? Uh, this, this is how you can create. So I have inserted one, say, rectangle. And I want to insert, say, another shape. For example, again, I click on insert, click on shapes and say, I want to insert, say, uh, circle, ellipse. Okay, I'll select it and uh, insert the ellipse, all right? I want to connect them, okay? So here again, I have shapes option and select the arrow, okay? And from here to here, I want to connect. I'll just select uh, this particular arrow and I'll connect it, keep it over here. Okay, if, I, if you want to increase the size of the, uh, like width of the arrow, you can do that, all right? And uh, you just select them, uh, right click on that, then format shapes is the option select it and from here you can increase the width of that so for example i'm increasing it to three and click on okay so you'll have thick arrow okay so this is how you can insert shapes so insert various picture inserting clip art inserting shapes this is possible using the insert option you just need to select the insert tab and illustration various illustrations are available using them you can insert any particular object okay so this was uh, about our uh, today's session in part three and in this particular part we understand various concepts and this was our agenda that we cover we learn how to align text in the end the text how to format the number how to provide percentage style comma style and increase or decrease decimals and how to insert pictures and shapes all right so that was about it and finally we end with the session and i hope that uh, you had a great time uh, with me we'll just uh, go like you just go ahead with this particular uh, session Okay, and we'll meet you again next with the next session. Okay, till then, have a wonderful day. Take care, everybody.
गुड डे